Today I'm going to show you how to run a hard drive motor from an Arduino. There are videos on this already, but most of them have it spin in one direction and at one speed. But for my application, I needed it to spin at variable speeds and in both directions. I was able to do this with a three transistor circuit and without any external RC controllers. I'll show you the finished product first. It takes in two commands, a speed and a direction, and the speed is a percentage. So we'll start this thing out at 100% in reverse. And hopefully you can see or hear it speeding up. Then, let's say you wanted to cut that speed in half, you can type in 50% reverse, and it'll slow down. If you wanted to switch directions, we can do 100% forward, and it'll stop and spin in the other direction. And you can do the same thing, you can slow it down. If you wanted to bring it down to 70%, you just type 70% forward, and it'll slow it down to 70%. The first thing you'll have to do is find the common connection of your hard drive motor. There'll be four leads, and one of them is going to be the center connection here. To find that, you take your ohm meter and put it across each one of those points, and whichever one is the lowest, that's it. The next step is to build the circuit. The transistors I'm using are TIP120s, the resistors are 1K, and the diodes are 1N4007. The common line we just found from the hard drive motor goes to the positive rail, and the other side of each phase goes to the collector of each transistor. Then off the base of each transistor goes to the Arduino, which in my case are going to pin 3, 5, and 6. The next step is to bring in the code from the description and change these first three variables to whatever pins you're using. I'm using pins 3, 5, and 6. Next, you'll have to change the min and max value, and this will change depending on what your voltage source is. And in my case, I'm using this 5 volt battery through a USB cable. I'm not going to go into depth with the rest of the code here. I'm just going to give you enough to get started, but you can look through this and it's pretty, pretty simple. So to get it running, open up the serial monitor, change your baud rate to 1115-200, and make sure my battery's on. And you just type in 100, reverse, and it'll start running again. So hopefully that's helpful, and if anyone has any questions, just leave it in the comments. This circuit is based off of this guy's tutorial. He goes in a lot more detail than I will, so if anyone has any questions, I'll put this in the description so they can learn exactly what's going on.